Paradox, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about Research shows COVID-19 booster increases durability of antibody response. New research from the University of Virginia School of Medicine speaks to the benefits of a COVID-19 booster. The new findings shed light on how mRNA boosters both Pfizer and Moderna affect the durability of our antibodies to COVID-19. A booster, the researchers report, made for longer-lasting antibodies for all recipients, even those who have recovered from a COVID-19 infection. The research team looked at antibody levels following a booster in 117 UVA employee volunteers and compared those results with the levels seen in 228 volunteers after their primary vaccination series. Antibody levels one week to 31 days after the primary series and booster were similar, but the boosted antibodies stuck around longer regardless of whether the person have had COVID-19. Antibody levels naturally decline over time after an infection or after vaccination, but higher levels are thought to be more protective. Thus, longer-lasting antibodies would be expected to provide more sustained immunity against severe COVID-19. The researchers found that the antibodies generated by the Moderna booster proved longer-lasting than those generated by the Pfizer booster. Moderna's antibody levels exceeded Pfizer's out to five months, the end of the study period. Although the findings were statistically significant, the authors note that both mRNA vaccine boosters provided enhanced and fairly similar levels of protection against COVID-19 in recently published large epidemiological studies. Because the frequency of COVID-19 infections in the community was relatively high when the boosters were being given, the authors also studied the effect of COVID-19 infection on antibody levels. The findings suggest that the enhanced antibody durability observed after booster vaccination was not explained by the hybrid immunity, the researchers reported in their paper. In the latest results, younger booster recipients initially generated more antibodies than older recipients, but this difference disappeared with time. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.